Hey everyone, welcome back to Awesome Pro. Today we're going to show you how to make ice cream without any fancy machines. <laughs> it's the no churn ice cream. Let's go. Let me show you how to make the ice cream mix. We're going to need two cups of heavy cream, and we're also going to need half a cup of condensed milk. Let's pour this into a bowl with heavy cream. Now let's add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and a quarter tablespoon of salt. Now use a whisk to mix until everything gets incorporated. There we go. We're gonna make a rainbow no churn ice cream. I'm just separating our mixture into six different bowls. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add a few drops of red food coloring here. Give this a mix until it turns completely red. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna add a few drops of orange into this bowl. Mix this up. All right, went ahead and made a yellow mix. A green, blue, and purple as well. Okay, I want to give everyone a heads up. This tray is ice cold, and it's been in the freezer for about 30 minutes. You don't really need to do this part. I'm just going to show you that you can basically make your ice cream without even freezing it. Just spread out your mix to create a thin layer, and you'll start to see your mix turn into ice cream. So this is a good time to get experimental too. Once your ice cream starts to form, if it feels like it's too soft or wet, then you might need to add more heavy cream. If it's the opposite of that, and it looks like you won't be able to shape because it's too brittle, you may need to add some more condensed milk. As you can see, our ice cream is starting to form even without freezing it. But anyways, just wanted to show you a quick science experiment. Now I'm going to create a thin layer, and then we're going to freeze the red ice cream for about 40 minutes to an hour. Once frozen, you can add the next layer on top. By the way, if you're not making a rainbow ice cream, you can just cover your entire pan with a thin layer of your own ice cream mix and put it in the freezer for about 2-3 to three hours. For those who are willing to take the time to make this rainbow ice cream, join the club. Now we're going to spread the orange ice cream mix on top. Same thin layer. Okay, let's go put this in the freezer for about 40 minutes to an hour again. Awesome! Now it's back to the freezer. So we froze our third layer, we're at the 3 hour mark, let's go ahead and add a thin layer of green on top, just sit back and relax while I do this part. Almost finished. Awesome! Now we need to freeze this green layer for another hour. Okay, so here's how our ice cream looks after 4 hours of freezer time. Now we're going to create a thin layer of blue ice cream mix on top. I can't wait to see how this turns out. The scary part is, you don't know how each layer will look until you cut into it, but I think we've been doing a pretty good job so far. <laughs> Almost finished. Nice. Let's freeze this again. Awesome. We have one more color. Let's make a thin purple layer. After we finish creating this layer, we're going to put it in the freezer one more time. Nice! Another 40 minutes to an hour, and then we can check out our ice cream. Alright, our ice cream is ready. Now, there's a couple different ways you can prepare this. You can gently lift the edge of your ice cream, and glide your spatula across the pan to make rolls of ice cream. This method is pretty good if you filled your entire tray. We're actually going to use the spatula to make little ice cream bars. Give me a second and I'll show you. Like I said earlier, we're going to clean up the edges, and then we're just going to make rectangular shapes. Okay, here's a closer look. Uh-oh, our ice cream's starting to melt a bit. Let me put all of our ice cream bars into a bowl, and then I'll show you what we can do with it. So you do want to eat these pretty quickly. <laughs> I mean, you want to eat all ice cream pretty quickly. Duh. If you want the best texture, you do want to eat this right away, because regular ice cream, you can hold off on it for a bit. This one, you do have to eat it right away. So I'm going to put this bowl in the freezer for now, and show you what you can do with the scraps. So if you have some leftovers like this, 
scrape off all the ice cream. This is the best part. You can add whatever toppings you want. Let's go with Oreos, some M&Ms, and let's also add some sprinkles. Now let's just crush and mix everything up. I know some of your favorite ice cream stores do this. Now you can do this at home. <laughs> Give me a second to finish this up. Nice! Let's put this all into a bowl. Check this out! A rainbow no-churn ice cream with chunks of Oreos, M&Ms, and sprinkles. This looks delicious. But let's go compare this with our original. Alright, so let's start with the original. Let me cut off a little piece. So a no-churn ice cream should be sweet, and texture-wise, it should be creamy and smooth. Mmm! Oh yeah, it's pretty sweet. The condensed milk plays a huge role, and I have to admit, it's pretty smooth. Now let's try it with all of the toppings. Make sure I get a nice spoonful of everything. Here we go! That's delicious. I actually like the one with toppings a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna add some sprinkles to this. I really like the extra crunch from all of those toppings. By the way, compared to regular ice cream, I would say this ice cream is sweeter, and the texture is a different type of creamy and smooth, but overall, a pretty good treat if you're craving ice cream at home, and if you don't have regular ice cream. Now let me grab one more bite. I think the sprinkles will add a nice touch, so add some sprinkles to yours too. Give it a try at home, and let me know how it goes. Good luck! Awesome or pop fans! Thank you so much for watching, we can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!